Okay, so it's kind of weird that, <laughs> I don't know, there's just been some stuff going on in the Ever After High circle, I guess, that people are like, is it coming back? Because uh, we've been getting some songs on like Spotify and Apple Music and stuff, and it's been happening like every, I think every, every other week or something like that. It's around every other week or so, or something like that, where we keep getting these songs. It started in January, and then I think we got one not too- like, we got this other one not too long ago, I think it's in February. I would have to check, actually. Um, but like, we've been getting these songs. But then, not only are we getting these songs, we also, uh, the copyright for Ever After High came back to life, so it's kind of interesting. Like, they're using the copyright again, so I don't know, but yeah, it's kind of interesting. Like, it's alive, it's not dead anymore, so I don't know. Um, let's see, when did this one go up? Does it say when this one went up? It just says 2024 right there. <laughs> I have to, like, go to the song itself, I think, to actually see it, but... It's not showing up right now. I would have to click on the actual song to do it, so... I might have to pause this for a second. Okay, so I got the dates here. So the first song that came out is Can't Get Me Down, and that came out on January 4th, 2024. And then Unbreakable, I think was the second one. Um... That one came on January 18th. Okay, so maybe it's not every other week then. But it kind of does it feel kind of like every other week. Unless, no, I don't think the other one came out before that, yeah. So, and then Destiny came out January 25th. So it kind of, like, the gaps between them seem to be getting smaller. And then the Brand New Day, the last one that came out not that long ago, is January or February first, twenty twenty four. So, yeah, um, it's kind of interesting. Like, why is there these songs coming out? And then also, the songs very are very like auto tuny kind of thing going on. People think that the songs are AI generated because they sound so weird and they're very generic. Like, you could slap this song on literally ev anything, like any kid's show where they're like, oh, you can't bring me down, you can't bully me, I'm too strong for that. Like, it's very generic and you could slap it on anything. It does not feel ever after high like it does not give the ever after high vibe like if you listened to the previous songs that were forever after high like those songs were like they captured a feeling that wasn't like other things and then these songs now that are coming out in 2024 these songs are so generic <laughs> it's just like what happened here also the artist or whatever that is listed under these songs, like, I don't know if anyone really knows who this person is, so it's kind of weird. Like, some people think someone got into the Ever After High's Spotify and Apple and everything and, like, po is posting their own music on it somehow, but, like, Ever After High hasn't, like, the official Ever After High brand hasn't, like, said anything, and it's still going. Like, if you think that it was a person that wasn't a part of Ever After High, like, if you think someone random got into it and, like, started messing with it, you'd think they'd, like, fix it already, cause it's been over a month now, so, you know, it's been, like, a month or so or whatever, so, and I think, like, it does take time to, like, when people post their music on Spotify and stuff, like, I'm pretty sure, like, it takes a while to get approval and get past everything, and then they can upload it and show it to everyone. And so, 
it had to have been more than a month that they've had this going on. Like, they would need the music to be approved. So, I don't know how long exactly songs need to be approved on Spotify and Apple Music, but I think it's... It has to be, like, more than a week, right? <laughs> right? Or, like, a week or two or something to get approved, or... I don't know. I guess if someone posts music on Spotify or something, like, you could say in the comments how long it usually takes you to get approved, but... I don't know. Maybe it's different for a brand account, too, because you know, an individual person versus, like, a known artist or a known brand, like, it's probably gonna take more time if you are an individual person that isn't very well known versus someone who's very well known, like, it probably doesn't take as long, so, I don't know, but also the fact that the trademark Forever After High is alive again, apparently, like, people, I don't know, people pointed that out before when the first song came out, and so it's kind of interesting, like, you know, <laughs> is Ever After High coming back? I guess we will have to wait and see. It's just kind of weird that they're posting these songs, and the trademark is apparently alive. So, yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna have to wait and see, so, yeah. I'm hoping that it's gonna possibly come back, but I'm also really confused. <laughs> like, what the heck is happening? But yeah, anyways, I think that'll be it for this video though, because there isn't that much to talk about. I just wanted to make a video about this, talking about how it's kind of weird, but also at the same time, I do want Ever After I to come back, because it was one of the best shows ever. But, like, also if it's coming back, they might have to, I don't know, are they gonna do a reboot or something? Because also the pictures for the songs, the album pictures or whatever, are from the TV show. That doesn't look like it's a reboot thing, so I don't know. So, you know, but, like, Monster High and Ever After High are supposed to be connected, so... I don't know, Monster High has been through a couple gens since died before, so I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're just gonna have to see. So yeah, anyways, I guess that's it for this video though, so bye. <laughs>